Medicare. Whether it's original Medicare, the Part C Advantage plans, or Part D, the prescription drug coverage, which covers a large portion of your medical expenses after you turn 65. However, it's important to know that Medicare can leave you with some pretty significant gaps in your health care coverage. Wendy Roman with Humana is here to talk about what is not covered by Medicare. Now, Wendy, it's an important subject because so many times we hear about, well, Medicare pays for this and, you know, you can enroll three months ahead of your 65th birthday and Medicare is going to take care of all of this. But it's important to know what it doesn't cover. So can you kind of clue us in on some of the things that you're not going to see covered? <laughs> well, it's important to know that uh, under Medicare Part A and Part B, you do have some deductibles which means those are, are out-of-pocket costs that would have to be um, paid uh, before you receive certain services. Mm -hmm. However, you do not have to worry about deductibles for preventive care or that wellness visit. Um, also, Medicare will not pay for dental services, vision services, hearing services, cosmetic surgery, um, and there's also some holistic services that are not covered under Medicare. And I know, well, you know, so many times these are those issues that folks kind of get involved with that, you know, they say, can we get Medicare to go ahead and cover parts of, you know, your vision exam or to purchase hearing aids? So I would imagine kind of Medicare is always changing as well in that coverage. Yes, that's why it, it is important. Um, many folks will receive in the mail what they call the Medicare and You book every year. It's also available online. Um, so I always recommend to folks, you know, um, it's not the best reading material, <laughs> but when you get a chance, check it out. So here's a question for you. We wondered if you're traveling outside the United States and something happens, can you still access Medicare? Generally, Medicare does not cover uh, outside the United States or U.S. territory. Really? So you huh. have um, So, but you did mention that the deductibles are coverage. Now, here's where we come in with Advantage plans again. Okay. And does Medicare kind of help if there's any kind of cost with those Part C Advantage plans? Um, no, there's not a coordination of benefits. If you choose a Medicare Part C, a Medicare Advantage plan, um, your care and your coverage will be within that plan. Okay, so that's a whole separate entity mm -hmm. as, as different from your basic Medicare. Correct. What happens is when you choose that option, right, um, you still have, or, or you're still under that Medicare umbrella, but you've chosen to receive the coverage under a Medicare Advantage plan instead of the traditional Medicare. Okay, so can you ever appeal a coverage denial? I wondered about that because sometimes that happens and no. why wasn't this covered or why wasn't this paid for? Correct, and yes, you have the right to appeal a denial of coverage. All plans have a process for you to be able to appeal that and how you do that is you can do it either verbally or you can do it in writing. Also, you, the, usually the, the um, response time is about 14 days, but if your health requires it, you can request an expedited appeal, which means your initial response should be received within 72 hours. Oh, that's really good information because if you're, mm -hmm. you're really in that sort of urgent situation, Correct. You can get some sort of an answer. Correct. Uh, yeah. Excellent. And again, we always mention to folks, you know, don't maybe listen to your neighbor or your, your aunt who thinks they know about what Medicare covers. And it's important to do your research and find out what is involved in these Advantage plans, what's involved in your, you know, going and, and applying for Medicare. Yes. And I recommend, and, and the website has really changed a lot. It's really user-friendly. www.medicare.gov has lots of information, and they also have publications that can be mailed to you if you prefer. Okay, Wendy, thanks so much for explaining some of the health services that are often not covered by Medicare. And don't forget, you can visit medicare.gov for more information.